Hey guys, welcome championship week. Uh, this is the final week of the season, guys. It's been a long year. Um, but I'd like to say congratulations to all you guys for sticking it out, having fun this year. It's been a blast. I can't believe it's already almost over. Um, it's been crazy. But um, just wanted to start out with, uh, you know, covering some stuff on the league real quick before I get into the matchups. And uh, last week's deciding um, factor for the playoffs. Real quick, guys, payouts. Uh, first place is getting 250, second place 175, third place 75, fourth place you get nothing. That was decided by the league uh, earlier this year, so can't really argue with me on that. It was a uh, vote on the league. Um, so, you know, no problem there. Um, I also talked to Nico. He'll be coming home for Christmas. Uh, he's going to be bringing the trophy. Um, so the champion, whether it be me or Mike, um, I will get it in... Uh, engraved as soon as Nico brings it home with the winner and if I win I'll obviously take it home if Mike wins I will hand deliver it to Mike um, congratulations to him and thank God if he wins I don't have to put team Scott on that fucking thing I can put team badasses so something a little bit different um, other than that um, really guys just you know everything's been so fun this year I uh, just really wanted to Give a shout out to you guys. Thank you for sticking through everything. And, you know, I know it was a little rough, but we know what we got to work on for next year. Um, yeah, definitely doing a keeper league next year, I think. Um, we'll all discuss it, you know, pre-season, pre but I think keeper league is uh, definitely going to happen. Um, you know, I think the scheduling's fine. You know, yeah, ESPN fucked up the scheduling, but uh, in terms of what weeks we play, I think cutting the season at week 13 and then just doing one week of playoffs through uh, week 15 is fine. Because I don't want to run, you know, two, two week playoffs. Because, you know, by week 17, if you have Aaron Rodgers, they're going to be sitting him or being very cautious with him, and you're not getting the full fantasy value out of him. Uh, so I like having just the one week playoff. Um, but anyway, guys, let's. Uh, oh, also, real quick, um, guys, you know who I need money from. I made the post on it. Please get the money to me or Brack for the trans fees. Um, without the trans fees, I can't pay the most points rewards or the best record rewards um, for Mike and Brock. So, um, guys, please get me the money to me or Brock. Uh, make a post when you do. Um, I know some people we owe money to, so I will be getting you that money. Um, you know, I know Jabby made a nice gesture uh, to put it toward the trophy. Um, so if anybody else would like to do that, that's totally cool. If not, it's, it's no big deal. So let me know. Um, some people nailed 10 transactions right on the head. They don't owe or get credited anything. So that works too. Um, anyway, let's jump into last week's playoffs, guys. Uh, first week of the playoffs, you know, two big matchups. Um, and, you know, one outcome was a little different than what everybody thought. Um, let's start with mine, you know, going up against the number one seed, 10-3, and three, uh, Windy City, um, Megatron's Army against Polish Pounder. Um, and I pretty much pounded Brock 120-80. to 80. Um, you know, beating him by the 40-point margin was kind of a surprise. Um, you know, looking at his team, uh, you know, he had 17 from Stafford, but, you know, his main four, you know, main three guys all season with, you know, Chris Johnson wasn't a main guy, but his first-round pick gave him six. Calvin Johnson only gave him three, and Mike Wallace only seven. Um, you know, it was, it was tough. He had some great bench scoring. He had Tony Romo go for 28, Brandon Jacobs 22, Nate Washington 19. Uh, Marion Barber was 17 on the bench. I mean, Brock expressed regret on some of his matchups, but that's fantasy, guys. You know, you sometimes you listen to projections, and sometimes you go with your heart, and that's the way it works. Sometimes it's just it's it's how it, it's how it works. Um, so yeah, I know that he had you know had some regret on his matchups, and you know I had you know big point outbursts from uh, Tom Brady, Lashawn McCoy, Matthews, Percy Harvin finally starting to come alive. It's like three or four straight weeks of you know really good scoring from him. Roddy White finally showing up at 14, and then Mason Crosby, my kicker, was 17. He uh, had a lot of points in that uh, Packers game. So, you know, I played pretty much everybody I wanted to that would have scored, um, you know, gave me the max value out of my roster. Um, you know, I was looking at even if Brock had made, you know, some other starts, I think it still would have been a really close matchup. I think he would have scored maybe like 116. Um, but still, I mean, it was a good matchup, guys. Um, you know, Brock had a little bad losing streak here at the end of the year, three games, and, um, you know, yeah, he had a great season. By far, he had the best record in the league, uh, one of the best scoring teams, and, 
you know, big props to him for having that team, even without his number one pick, uh, pretty much underperforming all season. So, um, you know, look for him next year to be another playoff contender, guys. I mean, he drafts good every year. So um, he's got the matchup this week against Eric um, in the third place matchup, which I'll get to in a little bit. Um, looking at Mike's matchup against Eric, I mean, looking at Mike's matchup, yeah, it scares me. Uh, the guy scored 167. I mean, get the fuck out of here, 167. And he had two players not hit double digits, Brandon Marshall and Victor Cruz. But he had uh, Maurice Jones drew 37. Uh, he had four touchdowns. Rob Gronkowski had 160 yards and I think two touchdowns, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, so I mean, Rob Gronkowski continues to be just unbelievable. Lions defense gave him 24. Uh, he got 17 from Lynch and uh, Roethlisberger and 18 from Steven Jackson. Um, like I said, guys, he is just, he scores a shit ton of points week in and week out, and it's unreal. It's going to be uh, probably a blowout next, this week with me and Mike. But looking at Eric, um, you know, DeMarco Murray breaks his leg. Um, Greg Jennings goes out with a knee injury, so he's only getting two points each from them. He started out great with Antonio Brown, but then, you know, Jimmy Graham is big tight end, only gets five. Arian Foster only got five. Michael Bush with 14. He did make a great start with Sanchez. Um, with the 25, but Mike ends up getting the victory, 167 and 99. Um, you know, there's nobody on Eric's bench who he would have started over, you know, anybody on his roster that would have made a big impact. Um, you know, so, you know, just kudos to Mike. I mean, Mike's earned it. Mike gets a lot of shit because he's been, you know, kind of down in the dumps in the past league, so now it's his time to shine. Um, he's had a great season, finished 9-4. and four. Um, And... You know, now he's looking in the face of a championship, so congrats to Mike. Um, you know, looking at also the matchups, I'll just touch on the other matchups uh, outside the playoffs. Um, Autobot Revolution beat Bolingbrook Blue Ballers 93-66. to um, Aaron's top score being Sean Green with 23, so, you know, if he would have had Sean Green giving him those point totals all year, he may have been in the playoffs. Um, the Regulators uh, beat Kiss My Ash in a very tight matchup, 102-97. to Um... Jabby's leading score was Antonio Gates with 18. Uh, Ashley had uh, Larry Fitzgerald with 20. Um, also, jumping back real quick, John's top score was Reggie Bush with 12. Reggie Bush really turned it on at the end of the year, but you know he's got better running backs than Bush, and you know John's running backs really disappointed late in the year. Um, and then number 10 seed Gearhart's Gangbang uh, taking on Jared uh, gets the 100 to 87 victory. Um, Oh, shit. Nico, uh, his uh, top score was Marcus Colston with 22, and Jared's top score was Eli Manning with 22. Um, so, guys, let's hop into the championship week here. Uh, you know, the big the big matchup here is me against Mike. Um, you know, going through the preview here real quick. Um, let's see how many minutes I got left real quick. Oh, yeah, we got some time. Um, going through, you know, his projection, I think, is obviously lower than what it actually is going to be. Um, you know, he's got only 11 from Roethlisberger. You know, it is San Francisco's defense, but 13 from Reese Jones drew. Um, you know, Rob Gronkowski only with 15. He'll probably catch a couple touchdowns. Um, you know, yeah, I do have the advantage projection total-wise. My projected total is 117 to Mike's 101. We all know Mike will score more than that. Um, you know, hopefully I can get uh, some high projections. Same with Tom Brady against Denver with 22, LaShawn McCoy 17. Um, you know, most of my meat and potatoes guys, you know, my Matthews, my Harvin, White, A.J. Green, all projected in double digits. Um, so hopefully those guys come up big for me. I'm going to need a big week, obviously, to beat Mike or even get close, as we saw 167 last week. Um, I hope that's not the case this week, um, but, you know, you never know. Good luck to Mike. Um, going to be my roommate here in a couple days, so hopefully, you know, maybe I can uh, get off Sunday or work something out and... Uh, you know, maybe we'll sit there and watch the game and uh, see what see how the playoffs shake out and who's going to win the championship. So let me hop into that third place uh, matchup here, fighting for third, fighting for some money. Um, looking at it, Brock is projected at 100 to Eric's 91. Uh, you know, Eric, yeah, still has to get Greg Jennings and DeMarco Murray out of his lineup. That's going to boost his projection a little bit. But looking at Brock's, you know, he's going to sit John Stewart in favor of Cedric Benson uh, going up against Tampa Bay, maybe sitting... Uh, Des Bryant in favor of Mike Wa or Nate Washington, who's uh, at Indy. So Brock's got some really good matchups. Um, you know, just based on the injuries for Eric and um, 
you know, the matchups for Brock, I have to go with Brock in this one. I think Brock's going to easily score over 100. I think Eric's going to have trouble getting there. Um, so I see Brock winning this one by at least 20. Uh, just, you know, untimely injuries for Eric. I mean, that's been the story all year with injuries for people. A um, lot of injuries, you know, for certain teams, and they're very untimely. Um, you know, looking at the other matchups, we got the Regulators versus uh, Autobot Revolution. Gang Bang, or, jeez, <laughs> Gearhart's Gang Bang against Bolingbrook Blue Ballers. And then Team USA, or Title Town USA against uh, Kiss My Ash. Um, you know, Jabby and Aaron kind of fighting for that, you know, who's the fourth or fifth best team. Um, you know, that should be a fun matchup, though. Um, so, guys, you know, championship week. Uh, this is it. So, get on there. Get active. Um, look at the matchups. Uh, comment, vote, especially on the championship and the third place. Those are big ones, uh, especially with the money payout. Um, also, money payout. I will do, you know, right now I'm focusing, like, because I don't have money from everybody, obviously. I'm going to focus on breaking it down. So, Mike will get paid. I'll get paid. Third place gets paid. And then any extra money will go to most points. And best record. And then as the money trickles in, I'll pay them. Um, first and foremost, got to pay the champion um, their money. Because the league fee's all pretty much taken care of, except Jared. I talked to him a little bit. And then Eric just owes his 15. Um, but, and then as money trickles in, guys, the most points and the uh, best record will be paid out. Um, you know, so hopefully let's harp on these guys. Let's get it taken care of. I know Brock's going to send out a mass text this week um, with what you owe. I know I posted it on here, but I know as it gets late in the season, nobody's really checking the homepage as much. Um, so we'll be sure to get the money in. And get that taken care of. Um, so that's really it. It's going to be pretty much the last video I do. Uh, I'll do one next week, but uh, League will be pretty much dead by then. So, um, you know, I'm, it's been a crazy week. I'm packing everything up, getting moved out, hopefully be in the new place by Thursday, uh, and hopefully watching some football on Sunday, watching my team win. We'll see what happens. Uh, but anyway, guys, just definitely wanted to say thank you. You guys have been really awesome owners. Kudos to you guys. Um, you know, I hope all you guys want to come back um, next season. I mean, yeah, we got some things to fix, but if you're cool with what happened this year, definitely I think uh, next season is going to be just as fun, if not more fun. We're going to have a couple more creative things to do, um, you know, maybe some different rule changes, but... All in all, I think it's been a great league, um, so I definitely just wanted to thank you guys for being a part of it. You know, um, yeah, I know a lot of people didn't, you know, their season didn't turn out the way it, it did, or they wanted it to, but uh, definitely wanted to thank you guys for sticking with it, Nico especially, Jared, you guys staying, you know, on top of it, picking up guys, trying to make your team better, even though the record, you know, didn't turn out the way you wanted to, so very nice, guys, thank you, um, that's about all I got. I don't want to keep talking, you know, Mr. Cummer style and get off my soapbox. Um, but yeah, I mean, if you guys have any questions or concerns about, you know, the trans money and you think it was different, I mean, uh, let me know. Hit me up. You guys got my number. Um, but if not, you know, uh, have fun, guys. Last week of the season. Thank you very much. And um, if my computer would let me click over to YouTube, I'd stop the video. But I can't, so I'm going to keep talking. Um, the fuck? And I'll just have to wait. So you guys are going to hear me talk for a couple more minutes. Um, I got this old shitty computer and it's full of shit and probably porno. And it's very slow. Um, that's why Brock's computer burned out faster than mine. Because he had more porno on it. I bet. Anyway, guys, um, I'd like to conclude the video, but I can't. There we go. All right. Alright guys, good luck this week, and I will see you later next week with the champion of MC's Finest 2011. Um, like I said, trophy will be engraved. I'll make a video, try and get the trophy up here so you guys can see it with the new name on it. Alright, later guys.